it's um, it deals with a subject before country music ever. In fact, I've never heard another pro-choice country song other than this one, Rapid City, South Dakota. And Sold American is a song that when we're in Europe or Australia, anywhere else but America, people really get a much deeper meaning than Americans do. We think it's a song about a songwriter, a, sing a star who loses his career and he dies. But it's really, it's become more political, I think, is how you'd say. Uh, over the years, and it, it meant that I was some kind of a universal visionary to have written such a thing. Now, you know, some songs get dated and they don't mean anything, and, and some get stronger. When you play this thing in England, Ireland, Scotland, Germany, any of those, but you know, when you, they really, they get it. They say, boy, everyone's been sold American. We understand. Yes, they have. Doesn't mean they hate America, by the way. The people that think they do are not necessarily right, because we gave them the Indian and the cowboy and a whole bunch of great things. And they love the song Ira Hayes, the ballad of Ira Hayes. That's a biggie. But is, you think that, you know Bob Livingston? Yeah. I mean, he came on and he said that the reason why we have the Star Spangled Banner now is because when Buffalo Bill went over to the Queen of England and had a show with the Cowboys and the Indians, they needed a big entrance song. And they dusted off the Francis Scott Key and started playing the Star Spangled Banner. Now, for Bob, I can believe it, but I'm still taking it with a grain of salt. Well, the song that's growing every year is This Land is Your Land. And uh, that's getting more publishing for Woody's estate all the time. And the other, you know, the other Woody Guthrie song, uh, well, he's got so many great ones, but the other one, uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, really is about what we're dealing with today, you know, which is some men rob you with a, with a six gun, some with a fountain pen. Oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, you'll, and, and the last line of the song, uh, round this world I've rambled, I've seen, oh wait, wait the, the thing about, uh, I've seen many of them, um, so, what's the last, uh, oh, wait a minute, I've got to get this thing, this is, let me try, <clears throat> um, Around this world I've rambled, I've seen many funny men. Some will rob you with a six gun, and some with a fountain pen. But as through your life you ramble, boys, as through your life you roam, you'll never see an outlaw drive a family from their home. That's it. Yeah, that's a great line. So very good. Thank you very much. You know, that performance took it out of me, Jeff. Well, then, I guess we'll I give so much of myself to it that, uh, Daddy. Daddy! This is my son. I, Daddy! I, well, I know. How long have you guys known each other? We met outside the parking lot. <laughs> we met on a cruise many years ago. No, we didn't. I don't know where we met at the gang flag of Noah's Ark. A long, long time ago. Seriously, we were about six years old. Did you go look like grade school together or something? No. No, we went to camp together. Camp together. Summer camp. Yeah. <clears throat> There's your folks playing? The yeah. aforementioned summer yep. camp. Echo, Echo Hill. Wow. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And, and we're still speaking, which is good. Of course, he is my employee. <laughs> Who's speaking? As well as yeah, your son. <laughs> <laughs> no, you uh, he is. Me. In the end. I don't, honest <laughs> to God, do you, do, is it possible that you could think he could look like my son? I mean, I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, my. Daddy! How do you do it, Jimmy? How do you do that? Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Probably good for the microphone, too. Not good well, for my ears. I know. Though. Sorry about that, Mark. <laughs> Having said that, we actually do need to leave. Yes. All right. Do you, uh, do you know Tom Russell's song about Muhammad Ali? I don't. I don't know. Uh, no. oh, we know you Tom Russell, but we don't know You have to listen to this the song. Leave. You have to stay three more minutes. I can, we can stay 2.73. You can go down Industrial Boulevard. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Pinky Freeman and Lil Jufer, they're at Port David's Pub tonight. Uh, they're down on South Lamar. David's been good to this, great to this radio station over the years. And they go on at 9. They'll be doing some music. They'll be doing some uh, reading and telling some stories. And if you hadn't seen it, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming. Very Thanks. Nice. I'd like to leave you with... Uh, Jim Neighbors story, if I could. <laughs> what would that be? It's a story about Jim Neighbors that he told me in February of this year. Who's Jim Neighbors? Okay. Okay. Give Jim a rest. How old is this guy? I mean, Jim is 79. 
getting getting the, the mad, this he's getting man, a mad cow. I think you're right about mad that. Cow. This man does not look like my son. I mean, he's daddy. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's very funny. I mean, that's you're the only. You're the only no, no, these guys think it's funny. <laughs> okay, I'm easily amused. That's right. <laughs>